Welcome back to Draga, where we tell a dumb story using even dumber drawings. I am your drawing master, Coldwell Tanner, joined by Legsy, Regina, and Roxa, AKA the Ladies Book Club. Whoo, how we doing, gang? Road trip! Road trip! We're yeah. going to the beach, baby. Woo, nothing will go beach. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if the last few episodes were any indication, nothing will ever go wrong. Normal beach. Normal, Normal beach. beach. Normal beach. beach. Normal beach, except it's not. You are headed <laughs> to the beast coast, which Woo. of course, oh, there you go. <laughs> Rox is in. Rox, have you heard of it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's the only book Rox has read. Mm -hmm. It's a picture book about the Beast Coast and all the monsters you can kill there. My dad lent it to me when I was a kid. It was all about the, the Beast Coast. Aww. Very punchable so monsters over there. Oh, oh yeah. so punchable. They're like so big is the thing. Yeah. They're just full of big, big beautiful haunches you can just really uppercut. Some roll one targets, two. yeah. Yeah. Um, well, before we get there, I think we're going to need to do a quick recap so you know what's going on by the time this train arrives. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Let's do it. All righty. When we last left our heroes, they were mixing it up at Ludwig Vindersal's fancy-ass lake house. After meeting some incredibly weird new friends, as well as getting reacquainted with their old classmate, Rinald, Ludwig introduced the Questly Fellows to Alan Piss. A... <laughs> Every time. Every time. Thank you. I'm so glad you're just pleased by the creations that have come forth from my brain to you. Alan is a really funny name. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really glad that he changed it. A celebrity industrialist who made a fortune stealing ideas from others. It turns out this entire mixer was a ruse designed to allow Alan to hunt down all the Questly employees and force them to give him ideas. Mm -hmm. The ladies book club attempted to flee into the woods, but were captured by Alan's various booby traps. They managed to save their lives by offering him three amazing ideas. A name changing device, a pair of tactical pants for women, and of course, a drone that puts sticky piss on everything. Sure does. And we mm -hmm. drew it super well. All you of did it so well. Perfect blueprints. Uh, they're off uh, getting uh, printed by the industrial printers right now. Mm -hmm. uh, no notes, honestly. Flawless, <laughs> just 100% ready to go. Noticing you were rightly traumatized by your experience in the woods, Ludwig tried to extend the olive branch by sending you three to the Beast Coast on a job shadow program with the Movie Night Boys. It'll be just like a vacation, except there will be monsters desperately trying to kill you. Yeah. That seems about right at this yeah. point. Pretty par, par for, for the, the course. course. Uh, yeah, slap a lay on your neck. Let's get ready to hang loose and kill some beasts because the train is pulling in to the station. Hell yeah. Woo. Nice. So, you three step off the Somewhere Could Express and into Monster Valley. <gasps> Ooh. Why? All of these backgrounds are so good. They're lush. Uh, thank you again to Patricia for designing these lovely backgrounds. They are fantastic. They rule. So you step off the Somerica Express and into Monster Valley, a land stained with blood and bathed in lava oozing from the nearby volcano. I love vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Several monstrous silhouettes lurk in all directions, save for one, which is occupied by the tattered remnants of a small town. What do you want to do? Uh, Gina takes a couple steps and then goes, fuck! <laughs> we never rode the jet skis. Oh my god, you're right! How did we forget? <laughs> that was the one thing I wanted to do! Mm. We were being hunted. <laughs> yeah, but that's no excuse. Yeah. God damn it. We should, have, no we should have asked to ride the jet skis as <laughs> reward for being hunted. Maybe there's jet skis here. It's a beach. Yeah. You can put those things in the ocean. You want to look for jet skis? Yeah, let's roll for jet skis. Yeah, do a wisdom roll. A wisdom roll? Yeah. <laughs> Only the wisest. Jet ski knowing. <laughs> May don the jet ski. Uh, let's see, that's a 16 plus 4, 20. 20. Uh, yeah, you definitely find a jet ski. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can I ride it or, or what's the deal? Um, it looks like the movie night boys haven't arrived yet. Uh, so yeah, okay. go ahead, ride the jet ski. All right. I hop on your back. <gasps> Rocks up. On my back or on the back of the jet ski? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how do jet skis work? Listen, however we want them to work. Yeah. This is I, our vacation. I, I put my arms around your your waist, and I'm like, I'm I'm on the I'm on the back. That's very romantic. <laughs> uh, Roxa, are you riding a jet ski? Nah, I you know I'm really excited to you know go go fight some monsters. Mm -hmm. um, it's the most excited I've been in a long time, but I don't. <laughs> I don't want to, like, trample on their fun. Sure. So I'm just going to wait here. Okay. You going to warm up? I start stretching, mm -hmm. you know. I start stretching the legs. Yeah. You know, we were on that, that express for so long. Oh, that's true. You know, start 
Just stretch it out the shoulders. Mm -hmm. May I just say, your excitement is palpable. Thank you. <laughs> Radiating from you. <laughs> yep, thanks. I've never seen Rock so thrilled. She's, um, she's really letting loose, yeah. She's really letting loose. I think this will be good. Yeah. While uh, just rolling you... rolling dice over there. While you're on the jet ski, a seaborne creature <laughs> emerges from the wake and just chomps onto the jet ski. Rocks I can't believe I missed this. What do you do? Uh, We're getting chomped. Help. Uh, uh, We're being chomped. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, take off my jacket. Yeah. Important. Smart. I don't have a jacket, but if I did, you know, I, I make the motion to. Oh, okay. I see. It's just, a, it's just where is, muscle memory. Where is Parker at this point? Parker's with you. He's with me. Yeah. Okay. I put Parker down Good. On, the, on the ground. Um, you know, just Alexa. keep safe. <laughs> and then, We're getting checked. Could you hurry, please? This and sucks. then I uh, I swim as fast as possible. Unless there's another jet ski. Roll for jet ski. There's not another jet ski. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Swimming it is. This will be more warm up. All right. Uh, roll a guts check. All right. I have a nine. A nine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're swimming out there, but you were on that train for a long time, and your legs are pretty cramped. Yeah. Um, you probably, you know, had a lot of sandwiches, did not have any bananas, even though the banana man did come around and he said, <laughs> bananas, bananas. If you plan on swimming, you best eat a banana. Should've. And you, you shoot him away every time. I should have. so loud. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you find yourself swimming out, uh, but like cramping up. You're so close to getting there. Uh, this monster is chomp, 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 chomping closer and closer on you, just kind of like horking down this jet ski. Uh, it's, it's a dire occasion, but luckily. Oh, are those boys going to show up? On a speedboat, appearing out of nowhere, a you see boat. the movie night boys. They jump into action. No, you no, I want this. I want this. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they pull you out of the water and onto the boat. Rick says, "Stay here. I'll handle this." Uh, and Rod, <laughs> whatever his name is. <laughs> <laughs> and then he tries to drive the steering wheel, but he just uh, adjusts the radio instead. <laughs> oh, what, what station does he put on? Uh, Beast Coast Living comes on the radio. Uh, it's the hit of the summer. It's by Eustace Flash, everyone's <laughs> favorite singer. And it goes, of course, like, Beast Coast Living, everyone's dead, because monsters ate my mom. And it's kind of like a soulful ballad. <laughs> yeah, but but with like a pops beat to it. Yeah. Exactly. I love it when songs have like real, real upbeat mm -hmm. melodies, but they're real sad. Yeah, lyrics. it's fun. It's yeah. a fun contrast. Yeah, it really uh, makes you think. So Eustace Flash is just like tearing up the charts as uh, the movie night boys are literally tearing into this monster. You see that the front of their boat has like a giant knife that <laughs> slides into place. Oh, that's rad. That yeah. rules. And, and they just ram into this uh, this sea monster that was attacking your boat. Uh, and slice it in half. They're very good at slicing snakes in They're half. They're super good at that. Huh, look at that. Now that's some sashimi that I would eat. You already made the sashimi joke. Do you have any other jokes? <laughs> Shit, hold on. Just like flipping through his Rolodex. Um. <laughs> joke Rolodex? <laughs> they just all say sashimi. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Why do you have so many pieces of paper that just say sashimi? We're normally just slicing things in half. It's kind of how you make sashimi. <laughs> uh, he says, <laughs> looks like that fish got his wish oh, that's to die. <laughs> It needs work, but you guys did a good job. You see Gene, like, pats Lester on the back. He's like, you'll get it next time, bud. <laughs> Dang! At least, at least Lester's trying. Rick, yeah. <laughs> Rick can barely form a sentence. Uh, you see Rick is just, like, has somehow ejected a CD from the little radio player. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Weapon! He throws it. Fight's over, Rick. <laughs> oh. I that's helped. Just, that's just polluting. Oh, no. <laughs> he dives in after it. <laughs> well, now that you guys have ruined our jet ski time, what are we doing here? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. So, uh, they take you back to the shore. Um, I guess they pay for the damaged jet skis. That They use their Questly card. It's one of the perks of being a verified knight. <sighs> um, and then they kind of, uh, they set you down. You know, they get you some drinks, dry you off uh, from your, you know, terrifying jet ski experience. Uh, and Lester explains the deal. So we, we got a call um, from a, a local citizen of Monster Valley uh, saying that, you know, surprise, surprise, 
there are monsters and we're here to take them out. Uh, unfortunately, the message was super vague. Uh, so we're gonna need to track down the person that uh, put in the app request uh, and get a little more info out of them. So we're gonna scout out the area. If you wanna track down uh, the person that posted the request and try and get some info out of them, maybe like even, I don't know, do like a quick sketch of what the monsters look like. That'll help us have a better idea of how to find them and how to pound them into the ground. Yeah, it's great. Stick yeah. us with the bullshit grunt work, love it. <laughs> it's part of the grind, Gina. I don't want to grind. I want to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> you see that as you're arguing, uh, Gene is already posing for like a mob of people. Somebody hands Gene a guitar. <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> and he does. Oh, of course he does. I he hate says, like, Gene. Uh, well, <laughs> hey, this one's uh, you know a, a personal favorite of mine. It's uh, written by my my close friend Eustace Flash. Oh god, oh, this guy. And he starts playing Beast Coast Living again. Of course he does. Beast we just Coast heard it. Living. Gene, it's, it's old a news. slow down version. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Everybody's dying. Monsters on my left, monsters on my right. My little brother's crying. It's you'd sound really good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But also, fuck you. <laughs> the lighters are coming out. I can't believe we're listening to Bean instead of going into the woods. <laughs> yeah, let's stop listening to Bean and let's go. Calling him Bean now? Yeah, Rock said it. I What's thought it was his... funny. It's pretty funny. Well. That's not, it's not his name. No, it's not his name, but it's better. <laughs> Bean's pretty good. Bean's pretty good. Yeah. You see uh, as well that Rick is like wandering into the water, but every time like the waves start coming in, he goes, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, What an yes, idiot. <laughs> it seems like all three of the Movie Night Boys are pretty preoccupied at the moment, so you're gonna have to do kind of the, uh, the pre-pro work here, kind of the investigation, the legwork to find these beasts. Uh, luckily, you do know the name of the person that put in the request. Uh, her name is Ophelia Thatch, and she is waiting for you over in uh, the town. Would you like to head there now? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. let's go to the town. Great. So uh, you reluctantly wander into the town. Uh, it's fairly deserted. You see it's kind of dilapidated. You actually see like giant bite marks have been taken out of some of the buildings, and there's just huge monster footprints everywhere. It's a real mess. But uh, you do spot one lone traveler, uh, and as soon as she spots you, she begins running towards you at full speed. Uh, and despite her enormous backpack, she is moving very, very fast. Oh. So, uh, Ophelia, if you'd like to join us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, uh, Rekha Shankar playing Ophelia for us all. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh my God, it's so hot out. <laughs> <sighs> Do you have to carry all that stuff? Yes, I might need it. <laughs> so many logs. Oh no, I might need a fire. <laughs> 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 awesome. I like it. It's like strength training, too. Mm. I appreciate oh, yeah. that. I'm very weak. <laughs> oh. Well, you're working on it. <laughs> Despite the amount that you carry every day? Yeah, I'm very weak. All my bones hurt. <laughs> but I'm trying to move every day. <laughs> I see why you need the help. <laughs> yes, I'm in great need of help right now. <laughs> I can tell. We're here to help. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Now, a monster came in here. Have you heard of that? There's monsters all around this valley. It's called Monster in Valley. Monster Valley, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it really should be a little more prominent on the brochures. I, I wouldn't have moved here <laughs> had I known. Okay, my whole family is aging. I moved them all here thinking it was a safe retirement place. <laughs> And now, and now I'm, I'm at my wit's end. Mm -hmm. You see, a monster's come and, and taken my mother. They took it your mother? They took it my mother. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, and I need you to find this monster. My mama needs to come back home. And that brings us to our drawing challenge. <laughs> oh, boy. You are going to have to uh, get Ophelia to describe these beasts so that you can hunt them down. The way that is gonna work within the realm of the canvas is we're gonna be playing a little police sketch artist game. Mm. Oh, wonderful. So Ophelia is going to be describing a monster to each of you. There are three monsters roaming around Monster Valley that you must locate. Some of the details might be a little fuzzy, um, but she's gonna do her best. And why don't we go ahead and roll initiative? Oh, sure. Okay. All right. 16. 16? <laughs> I got a nat one. I got oh, a nat one. Yay. Whoa! 
Yeah. Wow, all right, you guys can just leave for the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess we're not doing, yeah. You're not, not doing this not one. Not feeling cool. it. Yeah. Bye. All right. Um, just reach for my sketchbook and fall over. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to have, I guess we need to have a roll off between these two terrible rolls. A bad roll off. I got 11. Oh, you got a zero one. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. It's even worse somehow. I got a one and a one. <laughs> That's two ones. Man, y'all are rolling all sorts of ones today. Uh, so you got um, you got slightly higher. Yep. Great, mm -hmm. okay. Um, by one. Regina. Yes. By one. Regina, uh, you rolled the highest, so uh, you may draw first if you so desire. I so desire. Let's do this then thing. Then please get into it. All right. Okay, now the monster that tracked that took my mom. <laughs> she she had a body that looked like ham. A, ha a ham body. <laughs> Your mom or the monster? My, that monster. My mom looks like me, but older. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> she had a does, she, does she also have a big backpack? Yes, that's why it was incredible the amount of strength this monster had. She carried a grown woman holding a giant backpack. Wow. Not like me, I'm very weak. Well, that's a tasty looking ham body. <laughs> so I'm drawing a ham, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then and then we'll we'll go from here. Yeah. Oh, you gotta make that bone a little muslier. <laughs> a little... I'm telling you, this ham was strong. A strong ham. Strong ham. She okay, lifted sure. my mama. She took to my mama and her backpack. <laughs> Okay, a strong ham. Yeah. Now, was it a ham like this, or was it like rotated a different way? Were we going? Oh my! If you think I can remember what the legs of this ham were, you're crazy. <laughs> it was such an intense moment. You know what yeah. a flash bulb memory is. I'm sure your life flashed before your eyes. No, I didn't have one. Oh no! <laughs> a flash bulb memory of vivid memories. You remember what you were wearing, what the color of the walls were. I don't remember a damn thing. <laughs> But you remember ham. Yeah. Yeah, I had a ham body for sure. That much I remember. Like a, oh, a veiny, muscular God. ham. Oh, wow. I cannot tell you how this ham received its blood. <laughs> <laughs> I had no not no, of the inner workings of its body, only of its torturous nature. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. So we got a, a strong ham body. Great. Right? Yes. Which is a normal sentence to say. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now this fella, this fella, this who I don't know. This this monster had big eyes, big what? googly eyes on top of the ham. On top of the ham. Okay, <laughs> sure. Pointing in all which directions. He's trying to swipe my whole big family. I was pointing all over. You have a big family. I have a huge family. <laughs> I thought this was a safe place for them all to retire. And they're, they're all aging. All aging. I'm the youngest person in my family. <laughs> How old are you? Because like the, you, you don't look that old, but you sound so ancient. I, I am 16. <laughs> <laughs> and you're making decisions for your family about where to move? The next youngest person in my family is 84. Oh. Is that your mom? That's my brother. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. <laughs> Your mom really took a break between <laughs> you two. She got extremely busy with work. Yeah. That'll have <laughs> <laughs> we, we actually, you know, we're on that grind, too. We understand oh, yeah? mm -hmm. getting extremely busy with work. What do you all do? We, I mean, this. Yeah, we, we're this doing is... our job now. We do quests. Oh, wow. And that, that pays full time? Um, um, we're working, you know, you we, know, we just got upgraded to fellows, so we do get paid now. We yeah. get a little less than minimum wage, yeah. but that's more than no wage. Wow. So you're on like a permalance sort of system. Yep. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. It's a bit of a permalance system. <laughs> that's, yeah, it's, that's terrible. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, so I've got predatory. eyes on a ham. Okay. I've no, got eyes on a ham one here. One of them, did I tell you this? One of them was, I got eyes on ham here. Uh, take the shot. <laughs> Did I tell you one of the eyes was blue? What, one of the eyes was blue. <laughs> that okay. Just one. Yeah. I couldn't of possibly tell you how, what color the other eyes were, but one of them was blue. Of course it was. <laughs> You know, people don't think that all these monsters have blue eyes, but a lot of them do. It's just the ones that get reported on, no. though. <laughs> this but one has blue eye. This one has blue eye, yeah. yeah. One okay. blue eye. Okay. One beautiful blue eye. All right. And then uh, one of the last details I remember before I passed out. <laughs> this thing had a whole lot of teeth. Oh, no. 
<laughs> but but I, I think they were sort of sort of everywhere. Just everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like embedded in the ham. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Not, not doing a ton of chewing with those, I guess. <laughs> now, how did this thing grab your mom? That's a great question. <laughs> 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 so, so, so that so that bone you got sticking out. You know, I thought for one brief second, I thought this must be its arm. <laughs> one th brief moment in time, I thought this could be its arm. I realized it had a smaller arm coming out of the bone. Uh, and that's what grabbed my mom. A smaller arm out coming of out of the bone. Hey, why don't you understand me? <laughs> small, an arm coming out of the bone. A smaller arm coming out of the bone. I'm so, I've been incredibly disrespectful. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm in grief. You're, you're, you're grieving right now. So we'll just get a small arm coming out of the bone. I think that'll be. I think that'll be good for everyone. Just a little. Oh. Little and baby's keep in mind, it was holding my mom. I don't. No one's gonna know. This could be some anybody, but it has to be holding my mom. For so you, people to which know. looks like which looks like you, but We're all older. yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so I do need to get your mom in here. Similar sort of outfit as well. Yeah, we were with the same clothes. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Were there were there legs? How did this thing like locomote slither. its way? Slither, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so just sort of like maybe like a wet trail. Yeah, it was very wet. Uh, a wet ham trail. Maybe a less encumbered person would have been able to outrun it. <clears throat> That's what I thought, too. I thought, damn, of all the situations I could have been prepared for, this is the one I was not prepared for. <laughs> I've read about these monsters in my, in my book. Oh, yeah? yeah. Yeah, they're uh, they're fast. Oh, no. Yeah. Do they like to eat women? Is she going to eat my mama? Well. I don't know where. I'm, I'm sure she's fine. It would go. Would it just kind of try and like smash your mom against one of the teeth? <laughs> That's kind of what chewing is, is it not? <laughs> so brutal. I guess that hand is kind of like a tongue. Yeah, right. Just smashing food bits all against your teeth, hoping to God it smushes. <laughs> <laughs> Praying. <laughs> praying. Praying you can swallow it each time you take a bite. Just hoping upon hope. <laughs> <laughs> Roxa, uh, do you remember from your book what this monster is called? A hamagon. <laughs> oh, I wish that hamagon. Let <laughs> <laughs> him here, Roxa. <laughs> hey, stop shooting! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand apologies. Oh, God. Oh, mercy. Oh, yeah, that's Beautiful. picture perfect, mama. <laughs> so the hammer here and then and then the hammer gone. Yeah. Here's, a, here's a depiction oh, of maybe it. There it hammer go. Oh, making that's its so escape. just as fast as it was moving. I couldn't keep up. <laughs> How could you have? Somebody clearly could have dealt with this. Holding too many logs. Impossible to chase this guy down. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man, this is a memory. My, this is a memory come to life. It exited my field of vision. So is that the monster you saw that stole it's your very, mom? It's very close to the monster that I saw. Oh, Any yeah. more details, or do you think that's pretty much it? I think it? that's it. All right. You hate to see it leave, but you love to watch it go. <laughs> oh, you know? an acid head. <laughs> what an acid head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, indeed, a Where? terrible and <laughs> That bone! That bone's, oh, yeah, okay. that bone's pretty nicely cleft, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let, let's ask that up a little bit. Yeah, please. If you would, if you'd be so kind. Oh, good. There we yeah, go. there we go. Oh, Look at that. that you know? Damn, if this had <laughs> not taken my like... mama, I would have asked it out. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer, come! <laughs> Oh, oh, great. So this is this is a good depiction of the... I, I, I'd say so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, my well, work here is done. <laughs> thoroughly. But unfortunately, your mom wasn't the only one who was taken, right? No, it's true. <laughs> uh, did I not say that? Yeah, my daddy got taken. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite Liam Neeson movie, <laughs> Take Dicks. <Dicks. laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, uh, Roxy, I believe you're next in the order. I am. Uh, would you like to draw? Yeah, I would. Wonderful. And I'm to tell her what the monster that took to my daddy. <laughs> Please, just as best you can. I know this is okay, traumatic. I know yeah. this is pulling on some very dark memories. Yeah, okay. 
To start off, he was a big square. He was a big square. <laughs> big square. The biggest square I've ever seen. Bigger than okay. a building. Was it like a cube or just a square? He was a cube. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the biggest he, square. Is the cube. biggest square. <laughs> squares upon squares. Yeah. Okay. So many squares. Yeah. And each square had a different. Uh, a different personality, I don't know how to say it. A different sort of mood. The, the square that took my daddy was very sassy. <laughs> a sassy square. You want a sassy Rocks. square. Sassy square. I, I do believe there were probably nicer squares on the other sides, but I, I can't be sure. The square that took my daddy was sassy. Big lipstick lips. Oh, my. God. <laughs> Looks like an early 2000s web comic. Yeah, uh, you, you captured something I forgot to mention was the square kind of looked like a storefront. <laughs> Big awning mustache. All right. <laughs> You're describing a building. No, no, it's was much bigger than a building. Is your, is your dad just in a store? <laughs> no, no, I swear to God, I would know the difference. I've seen my dad in a store before. He picks up the candy from my house. This looks very different. This He, he goes in the store, and this time the store ate him. Oh, no. <laughs> Did not come back. <laughs> yes. And, and and granted, inside I did see countertops, <laughs> <laughs> and there was a man at a register. All but right. I swear to you, this was a monster, not a store. Any sort of inventory inside? Yes. You see? <laughs> yeah. My God, <laughs> sodas, uh -huh. a deli counter. <laughs> It was uh, one of those taquito rollers. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Oh. Um, I think I've seen this monster. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it was, oh, I'm sorry, you've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> the monster's many deceptions. <laughs> you know, it wants you to believe. Yeah. It tricked my daddy. He likes to go buy little treats for the family. It tricked him into thinking, "Hey, I'm just like one of those places," but it was really a monster. <laughs> so it was like a mimic. It's like a mimic. You know how there are. Octopus that kind of look like sand or something. <laughs> <laughs> they go, I'm about oh to God. sit in a pile of sand. I love to sit in piles of sand. <laughs> and it takes How you. did you know? It takes you. It takes you. I'm going to be you. I'm going to be more careful when I go to sit in piles of sand out here, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. I was really I was telling you on the train how much I was looking forward to sitting in piles of sand. Yeah, I bet you're thinking twice you, about that now. You don't want to get taken. You better stop it. You better check there you better feel all the legs first. See, is this sand or is this an eight legs? There are hardly any good sitting piles of sand in Citadelphia. I was really looking forward to the Beast Coast getting some some good sand sits in. Mm. It's mostly octopus. Yes. Mm. Now, Octa, I see you got this side pretty well taken care of, but there was a. Do I? <laughs> it looks pretty accurate. <laughs> uh, and uh, one thing I, I would like you to put, there was a sign on the front, and it said 99 cent chicken. <laughs> <laughs> was it a, a, a part of the face, above the face? It was in the sort that's of... A, that's a good deal. You know, you know where the collar, it kind of looks like it's got a tie on right now. With okay. those little windows, had, it had a sign that said 99 cent chicken. Okay. How much chicken? You it just know, said 99 cent chicken. You know, in my horror and my trauma, pardon me, <laughs> I did not have the, the foresight to ask how much chicken I could get. It just feels like, it just says, that, are you getting like an entire chicken? Is it like an actual like living chicken for 99 cents? I mean, that's how it gets you to go inside. You have to ask to find yeah, out. That's a good point. And that is a great point. Yeah. That must have been what took my daddy. Yeah, it's a per he perfectly uh, a vague sign, yeah. yeah. Um, so while uh, Roxas is trying to get this likeness down, while Roxas is committing this to memory, um, I imagine you two are like <laughs> paging through uh, her monster so book good. as well. Uh, do you see this monster in there? <laughs> Go ahead, David. Yeah, there's like a whole section on mimics. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this a specific type of mimic? Yeah, this is the, um. Here it comes. Oh. 
I sense it on the tip of your tongue. Just let it out. <laughs> let it out, girl. You've got it. M <laughs> minion store. Dick. Not even vaguely. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. It was no. bad. Mm -mm. Uh, Cut that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bodeganar. This is Bodeganar. <laughs> wow. Incredible. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> It took to my daddy, so don't forget, it's gotta have my daddy somewhere inside. Just rustling around. Yeah. yeah, be sure to depict the daddy. What is your, your what does your father look Looks like? Looks like me, but, but older. Old. <laughs> Little less hair, big backpack. <laughs> I guess like attracts like in your family, mm -hmm. sort of. Well, we didn't attract each other, they had me. Well, yeah, your mom <laughs> and your dad both look like you, but older, so. <laughs> They look like each other, right? Yeah, but it's inherited on the mother's side. If your mother's father had a backpack, <laughs> then you have a... What are you saying? I'm saying that you, you if both your parents look uh -huh. like you... Uh-huh. That means they both look like each other. What? And they, and they both wear backpacks. You think my parents are siblings? No, I'm just saying they look like each other. We're gonna rescue your dad. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna get him. <laughs> Don't me. worry. <laughs> I didn't mean to confuse you, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so conf I need to you, sit. It, yeah, sit down. <laughs> well, be careful. Don't sit in that pile of sand. <laughs> might be an octopus. <laughs> now, are there any more details? Uh, Anything on the front face? Yeah. yeah well. On that side face, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I remember I told you each of these sides had a personality. Mm -hmm. The side of this thing had like a trash personality, <laughs> like a dumpster kind of overflowing <laughs> with trash and a kind of uh, <laughs> little rats and stuff on the side. Do you That's know, the mood of huh? this face? Yeah, it's okay. the mood. It's a trash face. <laughs> trash mood. Yeah, trash faced. Kind of other side. Okay. Did this monster also slither? No. <laughs> Great question. Thank you. <laughs> this monster had a sort of uh, little wheels on the bottom. Oh, that's cute. Rolled okay. right away. Okay. You never could have caught it. <laughs> like a little pop up. Yeah, tiny little fox. <laughs> so tiny. Oh, okay. I turned the. This is a pop up bodega. Pop up mm. bodega. Yeah. yeah. It's got little wheels like some sort of like <laughs> nightstand you can move around your house. <laughs> yeah. Like a Tupperware that you could yeah. like. Yeah. Storage unit. Exactly. But all oh, it stores yeah. is her daddy. Oh, those big banana eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're big banana eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Excuse you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that feels like what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got a little, little trash fruit face. This is what I mean. See, the front side was all sassy. The, the trash side I had no issue with. Yeah. <laughs> no, one's, no one's going in there. Yeah. It's trash. It's trash. Oh. oh. Gross. Yeah, lo yeah, it looks like it's barfing out into the street, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm reading in the monster book, it says that's how this monster excretes. Mm. Oh. So the trash side does all the, the shitting from wow. its mouth. The good news is both of these monsters look like they should be pretty easy to track. The, your ham... Uh, ham, 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 ham gone. gone. Ham -a -gone. Ham -a -gone. Ham -a -gone. The ham -a -gone mm -hmm. leaves a, a viscous slime trail, mm -hmm. and this one just has a, a bunch of trash coming out of it at all times. Yeah, so, this yeah, one's just think, a 7-Eleven. I think, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling confident we might, we might actually be able to, to find your, your parents. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, there's oh, a couple there's... rats in there. There you yeah. go. You said rats. Yeah. Am I, am I forgetting any uh, details on this garbage face? <laughs> uh, no, this looks pretty accurate <laughs> to what I saw. Roxa, is that a, a a big eggplant nose or just a giant trash bag? Could be either. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it almost looks like a potato where there's little sprouts coming out. Oh the eyes. yeah, when yeah. you leave a potato for too long. Yeah. yeah, and you can still eat those. Yeah, yeah, it's. <laughs> I I looked that up because I was I was hungry. I wanted to use it for my my breakfast hash browns. Oh right? yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can eat anything. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's in your backpack? Have you ever eaten cat food? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, okay, so... All right, second person. Yeah. Yeah, this looks good. This looks... I mean, it looks scary as hell, but this is good. 
You ask what's in my bag, we don't have the time. <laughs> I understand. I've got a, a whole other family member to try and save. Yes. That's true. Uh, well, that looks like pretty accurate. Yes. I think that that is um, the I, vision that you pretty, saw. That's what I saw. Do you want to describe yes. the last monster to our friend Legsy here? Yes. Great. Okay, now this last monster mm -hmm. took my twin sister, <laughs> oh. who is older than me. How, <laughs> she, and she, but she's <laughs> older, she's your twin? Yes, but she, mama had her a year before me. <laughs> She was in labor a full year. I thought, okay. Twin twins. <laughs> That's... January to January. <laughs> so do you have the same birthday? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's a year apart. So Good. this monster looked like two birds, but it's two, <laughs> it's two birds, but there's no head part. So it's just two of the back parts. <laughs> Connect, connected, okay, okay, two birds, connected at the neck. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, okay, beautiful. That's almost mm -hmm. poetic, it's almost like. I love the statement, just two birds. It just looks like yeah, two, birds. two birds. It's kind of sad, because she took my twin. I used to be two birds. Oh. And I'm just one bird. Oh. Is it, were they the same looking bird or? No. Did, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Wouldn't please. it be quaint if it were? Yeah, describe each bird to me, please. Okay. Please. One of them was kind of pigeon. You know what a pigeon is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got lots of those in Citadelphia. Really? Yeah. Oh, Citadelphia. I love the angry sports fans. Yeah. <laughs> but good people. <laughs> so one little uh, pigeon. The one other like a pigeon, was, sure. Uh, now you won't believe me. When I, I, tell you. I promise I'll believe you. <laughs> okay. The other was an ostrich, sort of. Do okay, you have those so in Philadelphia? Be... Ostriches uh, at the zoo, yeah. Yeah, the Philadelphia Zoo is very nice. So this other one. It's, so it, what was bigger. crazy about it? Ostrich is much taller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the pigeon's kind of hanging off the side. Oh, so it's really to scale. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Yeah. It's just like an ostrich with like. A bird whip for a head. <laughs> but it's interesting, they both need each other. The pigeon can't move around without the big ostrich body. And well, I suppose the ostrich doesn't entirely need the pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. But they're friends. It needs the pigeon to fly. Mm. Roxa, you absolutely know what the fuck is up. <laughs> because ostriches cannot fly. They can only lay eggs. To my eggs. books. They to my can books. only <laughs> lay eggs. That's all they and, can do. And spawn a new population of useless birds. <laughs> Not a fan of ostriches. No, oh, very useless, very small brain. <laughs> uh, Roxa, what does your book say about this creature? It, it just says, uh, just two birds. Just wow. two birds? Yeah. It's like spelled out as one word. Well, it, that's what the description says. Mm -hmm. uh, There's a shruggy emoji after it, too, yeah. <laughs> interestingly <laughs> enough. So it's like, we didn't know wow. what to make of this, I guess. Uh, it, it's called it's called a, a die bird. <laughs> die bird? Die bird. Die like bird. dying or like two? No, like two, like two, like two. two. You're fine, you're fine. <laughs> do, do you know what this thing eats? I was so concerned it was going to eat my twin. I. Do you know how it eats? <laughs> my. God. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> maybe it's got a slip between the two necks, or maybe uh. it eats out the ass. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it eats out the ass. If you know, it's too late. If I, oh, God. Yeah, I don't want to know. We consulted the uh, the monster book, um, Gina and Rocks, mm -hmm. and in the description of, of how it eats, it just says maybe it eats out the ass. So I think you're really on the money. Wow. It's yeah. just right next to the shruggy emoji yeah. in the description. I was ready to write it in myself, but mm -hmm. I did see that it was the next line. I just, mm. I, I got bored reading after the first line, so yeah. I stopped. Wow. Look Holy at that ostrich shit. just rendered right there. Um, and they got those fucked up backward legs. Oh yeah, them bird legs, they're <laughs> weird. Uh, so crazy, you think they're gonna run this way, but then they run this way. No one should have legs like that. I've <laughs> always said, pick a direction for your knees exactly. and stick with it. <laughs> this wishy-washy bullshit. Yeah, get out of here. Um, well, I think that I, I think those are technically the ankles. I think the knees are somewhere up here. That and is, then this is the fucking ankle. disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> I think that like the way their legs are are in proportion to their body. That's just, I took one biology class in, at Dartmouth. All the rest. Hey, were, Legsy, could you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to. <laughs> Thank you. The yeah. knees are wrong and bad. Okay, where was your uh, twin sister? How did it grab her? Well, she was in the, one of the little tufts. 
of the ostrich okay. hidden away, tucked screaming. away, screaming. Tucked away. Did she like go in there to take a nap? Because that's what I would do. Mm. It, lo it looks comfy. Nap. My God, I hope she's taking a nap. I hope <laughs> that's the worst of what's happened to her. <laughs> yeah, please, for my own peace of mind, draw my twin sister, John Backpack, slightly older than me, taking a nap in the tufts of this ostrich. She's screaming. Screaming she's in her sleep. Night screaming. <laughs> She has a horrible <laughs> sleep apnea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, she looks just like me. Yeah, that's that's you, that's you right? You, know, you yeah. get the little backpack on. Well. Now, were there any more details about this hideous beast that well, you can recall? Uh, for some reason, I do imagine this ostrich had a little had a little toe ring on. <laughs> I don't, and I can't tell you if that's real or if I'm just putting things where they don't belong. Oh, I hate that. It's like, don't put, don't put a ring there. You gotta walk on oh, that. You gotta yeah. walk on that. Gotta, yeah. I mean, Why just, are you buying fancy jewelry for your feet? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you directing my eyes to your feet? Exactly. That's shiny. Do you, do you like feet? Do you, do you hate I, them? I, I like leg-based deception. That's sort of my, my, my roguish archetype. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, I don't just like looking at feet, no. <laughs> See, and that's what's crazy, you know, an ostrich is mostly feet and legs. Yeah. It's like, uh, I guess, why would you want to advertise that? <laughs> just looks crazy. Yeah. It's the trying to gussy up a dinosaur. A little yeah. Now this looks like what I saw. <laughs> How the hell does it see? Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe it eats out the ostrich's butt and sees out the pigeon's butt or something. Okay, so let's just, like, maybe... I'm just gonna add some, like, so... Yeah, I'll put it like okay. a... Yeah, like a little close-up if you eat a sandwich so everybody yeah, knows so it's like, where the food it's, goes. Yeah, a little sandwich oh, going in here. Oh, I can't wait. Here. Gosh, I can't wait to see this go in. Yeah, so it's like sandwich going in <laughs> there. Yep. And the feathers. Yep. Like that. Uh -huh. And then here we've got... Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna need to see more of, like, a... A, a puckered asshole. Yeah. <laughs> More of a constriction. <laughs> okay, okay. We're trying to find this monster, Legsy. If you're not accurate... I don't want accurate... you to confuse this and hurt the wrong animal. <laughs> so, like, we've got the feathers coming around, but then this this, this is flesh right there. Oh, okay, yeah. yes, okay, is baby. That, is Perfect. that good? Oh. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Is that what the people want <laughs> to is. see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this drawing? Good. Uh, That's the A-plus sphincter right and there. And here we've got same idea, mm -hmm. but, again, but it's eyeball. Oh. Oh, yeah. and I do remember that eyeball was blue. <laughs> okay, let me get, let me color that in for you. <laughs> what a fantastical place this is. No it's one should live here. Why? It's horrifying, <laughs> a horrible place to retire. You've got to move. I would love to. As soon as I get all my family back, I would love to move. <laughs> How is Philadelphia? Is the rent okay? Eh, it's I mean, a little high. You need, oh. you need a few roommates, but you've got a big family, so mm -hmm. I think that I should be do. okay. Now, what do you do for work, mostly? Uh, oh, I'm a, I, I carry everything across the city. If you need, I'm like a Postmates type of person. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's another sort of permalance sort of... Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. the same grind. So you, you get it, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's It's bad for everyone. Yeah. Um, so are you delivering it? wood to someone? <laughs> this the no, monster? the wood is mine. <laughs> okay. I deliver food. I see. That's what's in the backpack. Okay. No, so. that's I carry in my hand. I'm not work. I'm not on the clock right now. <laughs> What's in the backpack? Why do you need to know? I don't know. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> Who's she talking to? I don't know. I'm a little bit concerned. Can you see that? I'm just looking at a piece of paper. <laughs> a blank piece of paper. She keeps screaming. screaming, why do you need to know at a piece of paper? <laughs> um, okay, so I think we have like pretty good ways to track all of these monsters. We've yeah. got fe like feathers, probably mm -hmm. probably droppings, right? Sandwich bits. Sandwich mm -hmm. bits. Oh, and like the distinctive uh, foot print of a toe ring. Oh yeah, yeah. Look that's for the gonna toe be. Ring. Oh yeah, a toe ring footprint looks very different. <laughs> yeah. You know when Jesus walked in the sand versus when he walked in the sand with a toe ring on, <laughs> yeah. it looked very different. There was Who's only... Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> He's a guy that lives here. <laughs> he also wears a toe ring. Yeah. You know the classic saying, like when there was one set of footprints, uh, an octopus was stealing me away. <laughs> <laughs> and you were walking on an octopus. It was not a bed of sand. <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> oh, God. I think what happens is you uh, present your findings uh, to the movie night boys. Uh, and they're thrilled. They're just like, all right, this is uh, not what we expected, but uh, I think this will definitely be enough information. Uh, so I think the hunt can begin. 
So it looks like phase two of our operation will be beginning shortly. But before that can happen, you need to make sure that Ophelia signs off on your uh, Questly assignment. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ophelia, can you just like sign on this on this thing and? Uh. <laughs> well, if you sign it, it says that we did the job you wanted us to do. Oh, are you gonna take my signature for something? Yeah. I don't. The... Know, can't imagine what I do. It's, your, it it's for. Your, di your digital signature. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I know it's. You promise you won't steal my identity. I we won't. I don't want. I it. don't know what Ludwig is doing with the information <laughs> of the people that use his app, but you know it's it's one of those things. You know, if you if it's free, you're the product sort okay. of sort of thing. So wow. That's, you know, that's technology. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll do it. You guys have been so nice trying to help find my family. I'll do it. <laughs> But uh, please don't, please don't steal my identity. Yeah, we won't. Yeah, we really won't. Really, it's very Your difficult. life is tragic. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you see a little uh, notification pops up on the screen that says, "We don't want your identity." <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> They're always listening. <laughs> your identity is bad. <laughs> Keep it. Oh, thank God. Uh, and with that, you have completed another quest. Uh, you've got a good hold on these monsters. Uh, pretty soon you'll be hunting them down with the movie night boys. But for now, it is time for you to uh, level up before the hunt begins. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Um, Look at us. So, uh, Reka, if you wouldn't mind donning the Cloak of Judgment, Ooh. it is time for us to award the uh, five-star blessing. Thank you. Do I have to sit up for this? Oh, sure. OK. Yeah. Or, yeah. Let's see. I'll just tuck it around. Turn it. Wow, incredible. And you get to use your normal voice now. Yeah! Oh, cool. What do you mean? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> that is my normal voice. <laughs> so, uh, the way this works is, of course, uh, our heroes have been uh, given a reward by the app, but uh, one of them will be chosen by the algorithm to receive a special five-star blessing. Yes. Uh, and you shall serve the role of the algorithm and award that to one of our players. Uh, let's review all the drawings we've seen today. Okay. Wow. Ooh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we beauty. sure did it. <laughs> Do you ever just look at your art and go, I can I should probably stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for me, folks. <laughs> I should have stopped before I made this. Yeah. That could be the last one. I yeah. I don't think it's any big. of these are the worst thing we've drawn in this series. No. No. no certainly mine might not. be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean these are all a little below the uh, uh, sticky piss tier, but yeah, they're pretty good. So I'm noticing either the ham, what wonderful veins. <laughs> <laughs> what beautiful veins on that ham. It's so horrible looking. The idea of biting into a piece of ham that has teeth in it is so viscerally disturbing <laughs> that it is a really horrifying monster. Mm -hmm. uh, I also really appreciate the arm. Um, that looks like a nice like tendon coming out of it, yeah. which is pretty disgusting. <laughs> um, and I like the blue eye because, listen, <laughs> there's a lot of... This is a pale faced, blue eyed, <laughs> you know, bad people in this world, and they don't get reported on so much. So I like that. That's nice. <laughs> Political commentary. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really can't right, think of I'll a go. Scene. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and then I have talking about you. Uh, uh, what so, did you do? I don't know. <laughs> so this ham is very beautiful. Uh, moving on to our storefront. I. I really love this storefront. I truly had nothing going into this. <laughs> um, and I really like what she did. I honestly got to think this, I'm a vegetarian. I honestly think I could be tricked by this monster. Because 99 cent chicken, I would be like, what? How much chicken? Yeah, yeah. Is, I have to is know. it any good? Is it good? It's their yeah. banner. It's not even just a sign. It's a banner. Like they're having a liquidation sale. Yeah, chicken <laughs> is such a vague like chicken can mean anything. It can, like <laughs> and it's, that's I'm beautiful. gonna have I'm gonna have chicken for dinner. It's that's like beautiful. what do you mean? Yeah, chicken mm -hmm. is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, mm -hmm. very true. I'm just picturing all of the victims that walk into the store and go, "Hey, how much chicken?" And then. Ah! I think that's also a really creative. I haven't seen that as a monster idea, like yeah. a business. Like capitalism yeah. is killing us. Damn. Which Political I think, commentary again. Each again. Of these. Holy so charged. shit. Charged. Wow, this is very charged. I also like the trash. The trash one's just cute. Yeah. That's really cute. Yeah. That's Ugh. like the sleepy. It's like a odd couple, like Felix and Oscar. <laughs> and it's like the little Oscar. Uh, so I like that. Uh, moving on to the two birds. This is. 
Beautiful. It looks like, um, honestly, it looks like Jeremy, which was so far um, Scream Beast from mm. or Escape from the Blood Keep. Which is a great series everyone should watch. On yeah, Dropout. Like, yeah, I haven't today. watched it yet, yeah. Uh, or whatever. Just to click away. <laughs> it just, hey, you were in that too. I was. Uh, that was my first D&D, this is my second. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely D&D. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate the uh, the anal sandwich and the optical <laughs> anus. Yeah. I'm writing down anal sandwich. <laughs> 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 Don't Google that. Uh, yes, and I like, I like that this is sort of, um, you know the like join or die or like uh, this Don't the Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks like the snake eating. It's the, those just like the iconography <laughs> of like the like the can we, United States. Can we please come up with a slogan <laughs> that would be associated with this drawing, similar to "Don't Tread on yeah. Me"? What would the like uh, like faction yeah. slogan for this drawing hmm. be? Unflappable. <laughs> <laughs> That's Very pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ruffle my feathers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Maybe mm. it eats out the ass. Don't, yeah. don't please bread on me. Because <laughs> it's birds. Because it's birds. And they love bread. Yeah, it's don't bread on me, uh -huh. and then in parentheses, but maybe, please bread on maybe me. it eats out the ass. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe it eats out the ass. Yes. Uh, so I appreciate that, and I, I love this little toe ring. I think that's cute. It makes yeah. me feel like this ostrich came from somewhere and has like a girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever, yeah. a partner, and they're like, want to look cute today. Uh, <laughs> that's nice. Just wants people to look some, at its feet. Yeah. Killing someone. Um, yeah, so that's my thoughts on all of them. Now I vote. Now you vote. Uh, wow. Unfortunately, you have to pick a favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Can I say visually, they're all very, very, very stunning, mm -hmm. but I think the one that kind of experimented with what I think is a monster is our 99 cent chicken store. 99 yes. cent chicken, <laughs> Because Woo! I'm like, wow, I guess every business is a monster. When you think when about you it. When you about yeah. it. think about it. Mind blowing. A chicken. All right, yeah, is that your first, it's uh, my first, first five-star really? blessing? That, no, yeah. You made conceptually a terrifying uh, monster. Yeah. Thank now, you. This feels bad because it is your first win. Mm -hmm. But I do have this sketchcraft ability now. Oh my wow. God. You called, called OC Swipe, yeah. which no. allows me to steal someone else's drawing and make it my own. Wow. You shouldn't and wouldn't. And <laughs> I checked with Caldwell yeah. if there was any sort of limitation mm -hmm. on when I can use this ability. Yeah. Yes. And what was your answer? I was a fool. And I answered, no, oh, I don't know, it seems fun, do it whenever. <laughs> but you said you had to roll. I did say that I you have, have to roll. I have to roll? So this is yeah. a cunning roll? Um, I think this is gonna be a raw roll. I don't think you get to add your- I don't your... get to add my plus seven <laughs> cunning no, bonus? You don't get to add your big bonus to okay, this. Okay, what do I have to beat? Um, I'm not telling you. Okay. <laughs> That's a seven. You didn't beat it. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Well, I had that? to go I, for it. I uh, had to go for it. I was gonna set the DC at 10. So you Ooh. almost cleared so, it, but no. yeah, not enough. Okay. Uh, I think I you had like. To go for, you know, it's. I've learned mm -hmm. from uh, from Al Piss. <laughs> It's the best, true. The best ideas come from other people. You just have to steal them for yourself. That's true. That's, that's, that's what, beautiful. That's what I've been learning. You're not the same since you met Al Piss. <laughs> You're not the like Lexi this, I knew. Lexi. I'm growing up. <laughs> we're gro we're all growing up. This is about us figuring out navigating the world as adults. This Lexi sucks. But if you do it at the expense of your friends, then is it really worth it? Shit. Yes. Maybe it eats up. Goofy, <laughs> <laughs> <Oofy>, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now I'm a little mad at Legsy. Yeah. So. Fun. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's ride that bitter feeling uh, with uh, some items. Yay. Nice. Okay. So. Uh, Reka is going to yes. pull some items out of this bag, and then we're going to talk about them. Okay. Uh, Roxa, of course, you get first swipe, you get first pick. Oh, I need to pay attention. Ooh. Uh, so once again, we have the dragon's blood. Uh, this is the blood of the graphite lizard. Uh, when injected into the target, you can control their hand with yours. You basically put your hand on top of theirs and make them draw whatever it is you want. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ben Ridley, from the Discord for that. So I'm going to put it right here. Oh, fun. And next okay. we have... Oh, look at this. We have a bottle opener keychain. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it is useless within the world of Draga, but it can open bottles and it's shaped like a horse. Oh, nice. <laughs> there you go. What? The, what? <laughs> I'm gonna put that right there. That's so, an item in this 
game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What I else can't we got? believe this. <laughs> wow. Ooh, this is the Robo Remote. Uh, you and the other players each take turn adding to an exquisite corpse style giant robot that you then pilot in battle. Oh, that's oh, rad. rad. Yeah. That's Down really right cool. There. I mean, it's not as cool as the keychain, but it's pretty dope. It is yeah, horse shaped. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> shaped like a horse is the okay. thing. And then <laughs> we have no $5. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, y'all are all pretty cash poor, so this wouldn't be bad. Uh, I'll if just you don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to think that. We <laughs> <laughs> can't all be winners. <laughs> you might need that. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you never know. Um, all right, so, Roxa, you get first crack. Uh, what would you like? I'll take the first item. Oh, the, uh, the dragon's blood? Yeah. Fantastic. I'll take that. All right. There you go. That's a fun one. Somebody hand that on down. Thank you. Cool. Um, and that brings us to Rygina and Roxa. Uh, do you want to trade in uh, your skill point, or are you just going to take that point? I'm taking the point. Taking the point. Taking the L. I'm on my way to, I'm on my way to 10. Wow. I'm going to get there. You're going to get there. That keychain is tempting, huh? <laughs> So many uses. So many uses. Well, one. If I, <laughs> it's not my place to say, but I think skipping out on a skill point to get a cool keychain is an extremely Rygina move. Fuck, dude, you're right. Give me the keychain. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Give me the horse. Giddy up! Hell yes, giddy up, partner. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> this is the shit. How does this even work as a bottle opener? <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> yeah. I think you just kind of like, Smash it against the bottle until it comes yeah. off. <laughs> you smash the bottle. And <laughs> you can just do it anything. Yeah, it can open anything. You just have to like really you smash, smash it. it. Yeah. Windows. Yeah. I guess like you know wounds. You yeah, can open a wound with it. Oh my god! If you want to take your tooth out, yeah. you can extract that. You just bang it on your Easy mouth. Easy peasy. Yeah. Yeah, that little pony can open anything. Oh well, the, yeah, this is our first pony now. Now when when Ludwig asks us how many ponies we have, we, oh, we have one. We got we have one, one pony. pony. We have one pony. You beginning <laughs> your acquisition. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, are you gonna name your pony? I'm gonna think on it. Okay. I'm gonna I take some time. I found the part that you open a bottle with, yeah. and it's not where you'd expect. You think it'd be the tail? No. You yeah. think it would be the ears? Maybe the mane? It's the knee. <laughs> That's oh. a strong knee. It's a strong shot. That's a Julia knee. knee. Oh. Yeah. That's and a Julia you knee. You use the horse's chin as like leverage. Yeah. To do Counterpoint. Okay. I think it goes upside down, and yeah, you use that's the what oh. I you use the it tail hook. Seem does, sharp it, does it have multiple we options? Need a bear. I think there's a lot Hi, of bear. options. <laughs> Wait, open this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> we have a lot of bottles back there. That's true. But I don't um, think that they are. They're all twist off. Yeah, well, I have like. I have thought on it. You thought on it? Yes. Um, I'm gonna name the horse Parker. Unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> the only my Parker cat. that I know, my one and only Parker. <laughs> My beautiful boy. I can't believe you've done Where's this. Where's my cat? Well, um, I, don't, I don't know any other Parkers. So I figured it's like a good name to use. I want you to do a, uh, a roll off. I want to see um, what Parker and Parker think of each other. <gasps> where is where is Parker? Parker's around. Okay. I think Parker, you know, I got you were two. <laughs> I got a 10. Uh, a little contentious. Parker I think likes that... Parker, but Parker doesn't like Parker. <laughs> Is that clear? <laughs> Relationship <laughs> dynamics. <laughs> Write it down. Get it memorized. So, uh, great. We have two Parkers. Fantastic. Uh, normal and good. Uh, any adventure should have two characters with the same name. It's any just adventure logic. with three people should have <laughs> two characters. <laughs> That's how we do it at Draga. I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, now I need a Parker. <laughs> uh, you each need your Parker partner. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, Reka, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. It was a delight. <laughs> what, what, uh, how fun. We, we hope that Ophelia can uh, find her family. I'm sure that our, our heroes will do their best to recover them. If I know Ophelia, she'll probably die before it happens. <laughs> <laughs> so she'll cool. slowly pass away in her sleep. At the age of 16. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Wonderful. Fantastic. Uh, well, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, do you have any parting advice for our players? Wow. As me or as Ophelia? Either. Okay, as I feel it, you carry as much as you can, wherever you can, all the time. Make it as heavy as possible and never put it down. I That's good advice. Yeah. That's the end of it? Yes. <laughs> Rox already knew that. That's yeah. Part of 
I like it. I like it. I'm writing it down in my book. <laughs> Make it as heavy as possible and as plentiful as possible. If you're not breaking your back, you're not journeying. Wow. Wow. I okay. disagree, but thank you. Sure. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Give Rick a hand. <laughs> Woo. Thank, you. thank you for thank having me. Thank you so me. much. Bye. And bye. Bye. Bye, Rick. Bye. 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 Can't believe no one sprang for this. It's five some American dollars. I'm gonna buy you a sandwich. Who's a uh, whose face is that on the on the five some American dollar bill? Oh, of course. That's obviously um, Amberham. <laughs> Amberham. <laughs> Amberham Lunkin. Amberham Lunkin, the first pig president. <laughs> <laughs> he had a lot of adversity to overcome, uh, and, he, and he did it. Yeah, the Samaritan history is rich and full of mm -hmm. intrigue. You know what kind of hat he wore? Pork pie. Thank you. All right, let's My go. Man. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> That's the heat we bring! <laughs> Um, so, uh, after you kind of uh, reassure Ufi that you're going to be able to find these monsters, uh, you regroup with the Movie Night Boys um, and show them your drawings. And um, they're like, oh, yeah, these are great. Uh, we can track them down easy. You show them all the, the notes that you've made uh, in your book, Roxa, uh, like extra details about like droppings and uh, ham slime trails. Yeah. Uh, and they are just like super impressed. So uh, basically what happens now is you guys track down these monsters and yeah, you basically just beat the shit out of them. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I think like summer jams are pumping as you do this. Uh, why don't we go down the table? Describe how you kick these monsters' asses. Well, Legsy obviously is gonna be stealthing around, following Lester's lead, trying to pick up any moves that, uh, that you can from him. Mm -hmm. um, but also I think is a little bit racked with guilt. Like she mm. got so excited about her new abilities, uh, this new way of thinking that she picked up from uh, from Al Piss, right. that uh, who she really respected because he's he's sort of like the ultimate rogue. He mm -hmm. steals ideas, the yeah. most intangible of things. Um, but she never meant to hurt her friend Roxa, yeah. and so I think while this is happening, she's having a heartfelt confession to Roxa, <laughs> saying all of this, saying that she lost sight of what was really important and that she understands if Roxa can't forgive her right now, but she hopes that someday she might be able to. And saying this, of course, ruins her stealthiness, and so sure. she doesn't do the best job. Right, so then this like ham hand reaches in and grabs you for oh, a second. Gross. <laughs> oh, 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 stop, oh, oh, and uh, Oh, it's like it, banging you against its tooth. She does do a pretty cool knife throw right up the the the, the die bird's uh, ass. Slight. Oh, right in the ass. Right in the ass. Right in oh, the ass eye. The ass eye. Yeah. So it's blinded. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna make it much easier to kill. Uh, awesome work, uh, Regina. What do you do? Gina's basically just trying to look as cool as possible. There's a mm -hmm. lot of like press here, a lot yeah. of fans, because yeah. the movie night boys are here doing their thing. People love it. Babies are flying everywhere because <laughs> Gene's around. Gene! Um, so, so Gene's trying to do some fancy moves, like, you know, trying to, like, make a bone come out of the ground that, like, launches her in the air and she does, like, a flip wow. and, like, rains down bones. But whenever she's about to, like, get a really good hit on a monster, Gene leaps in and, and knocks it out of the way instead, like, does a good hit himself. And so Gene is just, like, fuming. Every time Gene dances in, does a cool pose, and like wax a monster with his guitar. Oh, he's using his guitar? Yeah. Oh, that is pretty cool though. It's pretty cool, but also what a douchebag. Seriously. Probably says something like, that's why I call it my axe. <laughs> <laughs> he does say that. Yeah. In fact, he says that three times and everyone's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> he just keeps doing the same goof. <laughs> He's got a Rolodex that yeah. just <laughs> that joke over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> I really struck a chord. Everyone flips out when he does oh, a new that's joke. A, yeah, yeah, new joke. Yeah. yeah. Um, give me a raw roll. Raw roll. A raw roll. Raw roll. Uh, I want to see if people recognize Barf Girl. <laughs> it's a three. <laughs> a three. Um, here's what I think you do. You start getting fed up with Gene kind of stealing your spotlight. So you're like, I'm going to do what I do best. I'm going to barf, going to barf. And you just try and barf and you just like dry cough. You just dry hack, you can't get anything up and like everybody ignores it. Like nobody's taking photos of you. The legend of Barf Girl is dying before your eyes. No, come <laughs> on. When I needed you the most, my barf failed me. Where's the cat food? Tragic. 
<laughs> I think you definitely ate it all on the train ride over. Uh, Roxa, what are you doing? Uh, so she's going to go find the uh, pop-up bodeganar mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Barbara or whoever, and uh, you know she finds it because she follows all the garbage. Mm -hmm. You know, there's not a lot of garbage in the wilderness unless you're on like a bad, right. populated trail. Mm -hmm. People who say they like to go hiking just go take pictures, jump all their trash, and then leave. Mm. It's uh, not personal at all, clearly. Not personal, <laughs> but uh, uh, Rick picks up the trash and like just slowly starts going. But you can't see him doing that because he's wearing a helmet. He is wearing so, a but helmet. You can tell that mm -hmm. his mouth is open just by the way he's <laughs> bringing the trash uh, up to you his You do you. I'm not here to tell Rock you how to live your life. not going to stop him. No. <laughs> oh, right. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I, uh, I find the pop up bodeganar and like, I ask it if it wants to fight because I don't want to like, fight this uh, thing that's just trying to live its life, mm -hmm. you know? But I do want to get, you know, I do want to help this person, the, the dad. Mm -hmm. That's in the pop up with Dagonar. So I kind of just, um, I, I try to pick it up from one side and then just flip it on one of its edges <laughs> so its little wheels can't reach the ground anymore. Great. So then I, I can open the door, pop in, grab them, and, and drop them out. Aww. Uh, and yeah, then maybe, maybe I put them back down and, and try to like find something to fix the door closed. Ask how much chicken you get. I, How much chicken is the 99 cents chicken? I grab the dead, I, I plop him out, and I, I just kind of yell into this body of this monster, just, what's the deal with the chicken? You hear this voice from deep within go, <laughs> <laughs> You get a fuck ton. Wow. Oh, dang, that's a great deal. No wonder they keep going in there. Yeah. I still have, I still have questions. Okay. Wait, I have seven. I have seventy dollars. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'll I'll buy um. That's so you know, much give chicken. Me, give me three rounds. <laughs> three I'm gonna rounds. Get, I'm gonna get one for me and my two friends. <laughs> you see and this? Then give me one tiny round for uh Parker. For Parker, obviously. Yeah. You see this like the keychain can't eat. Oh, oh idiot. Two two Parkers. Oh. You got to keep that oh, in mind. Right. Oh dang. Oh. <laughs> you see this stream of chicken nuggets just erupt from the store. It just flies out like a laser beam made mm. of poultry. Uh, and I guess you three just open your mouths. <laughs> I, I take out my wallet, mm -hmm. my, my little bag of holding, oh. and I, I, I go, DJ, <gasps> do what you do best. <sighs> and you just sucks up a bunch of the chicken for later and put it Amazing. back Amazing. Uh, three metric fuck tons of chicken go into <laughs> your uh, wallet of oh holding. Oh god, DJ's gonna be a little sick. Uh, ever, since, ever since he became an adult, he can't handle fried food so much. And it's, that is a lot of fried food, so yeah. yeah. Uh, not only have you defeated these monsters, you've earned, I guess, an impossible amount of chicken, so congratulations, there you go. Nice. All right. It's nice. gonna be great for our budget living since we are <laughs> still being paid below minimum wage. Uh, so you regroup with the Movie Night Boys after this epic battle, um, and they're kind of like all patting you on the back, like really like shaking your hands, like pumping you up. They, they think you did a great job, uh, and then Lester kind of pulls you all aside and says, ah, so I just heard from HQ, and it, it turns out that was your final test. What? It's really? time for you to get verified. Wow. Oh that my was, gosh. That was the only test yeah? of being a fellow. <laughs> Fellow's a real short, it's like, it's they just need to have the hierarchy, it seems. Yeah, like. yes. it's, it's corporate it's really Yeah, well, just, some slots opened up. It's really just kind of more of like a holding pattern thing that we put people in. Yeah, and uh, you can hunt them sometimes, I guess. Exactly, yeah, yeah. you can thin the herd. Uh -huh. But yeah, um, Lutvig really likes what he's seen in you. Uh, you really handled that monster in a really creative, fun way. Uh, so we think you've got what it takes to be verified. So. If you're cool with it, we're gonna head back to HQ right now, um, and Ludwig's gonna perform the induction ceremony. Doesn't sound suspicious at all, let's do it! All right, cool! Let's go, I wanna get verified. Hell yeah, so you all hop back on the Somewhereica Express, uh, you take the long train ride home. Uh, do you talk about anything on the ride home, or are you kinda just like focused in on this process, on getting verified? I think we're all just stuffing our faces with nugs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm opening any bottle. Any bottle anyone needs. I'm going down the car. Oh, shit. And I'm like, oh, oh, can I? Oh, please allow me. Oh, yes, please allow me. Give me another roll. Uh, you can use wisdom this time. Uh, that's an eight plus my wisdom, which is five, so 13. 13. Uh, Barf Girl is fading, but uh, the bottle gal is 
rising. Bottle gal's on the rise. Bottle gal, bottle gal rising. She's got that bottle fancy rising. horse opener, and mm -hmm. she's coming for your bottles. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw, motherfucker. That's her catchphrase. The phrase. bottle gal is here. Uh, yeah, so I think people are like, just... I needed a bottle opener, and then all of a sudden, the bottle gal was there. There she was. There she was. Yeehaw, ride him, cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you spend this long train ride just stuffing your faces with chicken, open bottles left and right, um, and then, at long last, you arrive at the Questly campus. Oh, Ooh, dang. Wow. Uh, which is as beautiful and pristine as it is labyrinthian and complex. You barely have a moment to dwell on this, though, because as soon as you set foot on the campus, the Movie Night boys tell you about your final, final challenge. Two finals? Oh. You know how it is, baby. You don't know what final means. <laughs> you just get to say a word twice and have it negate the meaning of the first word. Gotcha. Ugh. Oh, he yeah. got us. Listen, yeah, got when you it. work at Questly, everything's a quest. All right. Mm -hmm. So Lester leans in and tells you that your final challenge will be to find Ludwig, who is hiding in the conference room in the beating heart of this maze-like structure. To become verified, you must find him. They wish you all the best of luck. Uh, Lester shakes your hands. Jean um, hands you their guitar. Gina? I can't, I don't know how to play this. Uh, it minor illusions into a baby. Gotcha! Ha -ha. Oh no, I can't use this either. I don't know how to play that either. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll take it back. It's just a joke. Uh, you see Rick looks at the baby and goes, why is it so small? <laughs> and then Lester kind of like shoves them aside, waves, wishes you best of luck, and then they kind of just vanish. Leaving you in front of the Questly HQ, you all take a deep breath, and then you head in and take your final step towards verification. And that is where we will end our session. Nice. Oh, yes. All right. Finally heading in the right direction. Yeah. yeah. On the up and up. Things are looking up. Yeah. Things could be worse. We've got they these, have been. All these chicken <laughs> nugs. You do have a surplus of nugs. Uh, please remember that. That'll be very important yeah. for the challenges to come. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, thank you to Reka Shankar for her amazing role as Ophelia. Thank you to our players. Uh, this has been such a treat. Uh, I look forward to the next episode. But until then, we have to say goodbye, and we are very sorry. 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 Bye. Bye. See you in the boardroom, you pitiful fools. Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Ronald, we're not rivals. Rivals! Do we press the button? I mean... There's a big empty room There's with nothing one. Else. Presses the button. And you see that there are nine rooms in Questly for you to explore. Anywhere you want to go, Wayne can assist you and perhaps help you find this secret room. This... We're working our core. Just make him do this for as long <laughs> as you want. <laughs> <laughs> if you stop bouncing, you die. Glad we These used it for this. These punches can fix. Oh my god. You fix the printer so good that it prints out a clue. <laughs> <laughs> the printer's my best friend. Thank you for fixing me. Oh no. Doesn't he have a relaxing presence? <laughs> Friendship is power! <laughs> Friendship is power!